Hello and welcome to my channel. This is episode 9. First thing as always, thank you to those of you that have subscribed to my channel. If you are new, names will go up here. And thank you to those of you that have been following and supporting me on the forum. Recognition goes up over here. Now I have one notification before we start this video. So during this entire week, okay, editing, filming, um, there were certain parts that you may not be able to hear properly, so please make sure that you turn the volume up. And yeah, that's it. Let's get into the video. Now, I managed to get both my items in time for this video. So what you see here is my first item. Funny enough, this turned up on Sunday after I finished my last episode. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. Check out the rest of my stuff. But the most important, the second item is in here. But I'm not going to get it out because now you're going to watch the video and hopefully you enjoy. The first thing I bought was a pistol case bag. I bought it off Amazon for $19.99. It did have postage with it. But I promise I will do a review of this at a later date. But I do have something to put on here quickly to make it a little bit more cooler. Who recognizes this patch, hmm? This is the Firefly patch. If you haven't seen the TV series or the film, I highly recommend them, especially for those of you that are sci-fi fans. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the case. So let's move on to the second item. I got this from onlyairsoft.com. Here we go. It is a King Arms product. It's the first one I bought from them. So fingers crossed, all goes well. Now, before I open it, I want to mention a few things. Firstly, I did my online research of this particular product that I bought, and I went on to YouTube as well to check out the reviews, which is not a lot, to be honest. And I'm 50-50 on what I bought, but hopefully, for the money I've paid, I'll get something out of it. So, let's open it up. Let's open this up, shall we? Right, that's interesting straight away. We've got a plastic cover instead of a fabric one, but I'm not that picky. Let's get the stuff out and put it to the side. Just get the speed loader out. Put it here. Let's get it out of the plastic. Now, if you've been watching The Walking Dead or been playing the Metro series games, you'll recognize this gun. It is a Colt Python. It is a green gas version, not a CO2. So, yeah, let's have a look at it. I'm going to keep this on for now. It's got a nice feel to it. Now, I'm just going to go over this quickly as I can. So, here is the safety. If you push it in, if you can see that now, it won't pull back. If I pull it back. Now, there's two ways you can fire this. The first one is double action. And the other one is single action. If you notice the difference, look at the trigger. Double action again. Now, have to pull further with the single action. If you notice, brings it closer, easier to handle. Now, this is a bit heavy at the moment, but I'm expecting that from a new gun. Uh, let's have a look at the iron sights. Pretty standard. Now, let's get onto the main part. This is the release mechanism, so pull back, and it should. There we go, a stiff. Now I've heard about this, so I want to check it quickly. Yep, yeah, that's tight. I've heard it in a few videos, this can be loose, so make sure you twist it, tighten it up if you need to. It comes with six shells, which is expected for a revolver. If it didn't, then yeah, we'd have a problem. Right, let's get these shells out now. Obviously this is the ejecting rod, so you can see they move, so Bear in mind this is the first time I'm handling it, so bear with me. Now, I'm left-handed, so just bear that in mind. So with the six shells, use this one here. You put them in through the front. You can only fit one BB at a time. So I'm going to try this out quickly with the speed loader. Now, like I said before, I haven't used a revolver before. So going from what I've found out, let's see what happens, shall we? Okay, so I'm going to do it facing the camera. Here we go. I'm pushing in and twisting. I should hear a click. I'm not hearing a click. Why am I not hearing a click? Ah, there we go. Now, if you notice, there again. So I'm going to just undo that again. Okay. Hopefully you can see this time. There we go. Now I'm going to put it in the revolver. Okay. So I'm going to hold from here. Line it up. And... 
There we go. A little stiff there. And then, very important, line it up. There we go. Then it won't move. So you're good to go. So I'm going to take it out one more time. This is quite stiff, by the way, so just bear with me on this. Wow. There we go. So let's take these shells out again. Come on. There you come. So you can use the ejection rod or manually. I'll put this back in again quickly as I can. Bear with me. This is my first unboxing video. As much as I'm enjoying it, I will learn from my mistakes as well. Very important for humans to do that because we are not born perfect. So again, wait for that clip. Hold it from here. Notice it's not going anywhere. There we go. That was easier that time. Pretty stiff to get back in, actually. Let's try that again. There we go. Now, before I continue any further, I'm going to put my goggles on, safety purposes. Now, this is green gas, so it goes in through here. Now, this is the main issue I've been hearing with this particular model, is it can have a gas leakage problem. So we're going to test that out now. I've got some standard green gas here. Obviously, I'm going to use that quickly now. Test it out. So here we go. Line up carefully. Very important you line up. Already. So that's interesting already if you can hear that. So yeah, there's a gas problem already. Fire a few shots quickly. Obviously got to try and warm it quite cold in here so needs to warm up you can still hear that let's do this, this. Hmm. okay what I'm gonna do is I have a few ideas so I'm just gonna put the screen gas away first so yeah that was my one major concern so what I'm gonna do is try a few things and then hopefully Fingers crossed, it will work. The next day. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone onto YouTube, checked out this main issue, and I believe I have solved it. So what I've done is I've loaded up these shells already with 0.2s. You pop them in, only one at a time, and you hear a little pop. Now, the problem was I ran out of green gas, which is typical usually. So I'm moving on to the next best thing. Some red gas, propane. Now I'm going to put this in, so hopefully we shouldn't have any leakage whatsoever. So bear with me one second. Fantastic. Okay, that's coming off. Can you hear anything? Go and put up to my ear. I can't. So, a few test fires. Don't worry, I've got goggles on. Single action. Do it one more time, get it in the camera. Pretty good. Double action now. Okay, I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the safety on. Okay. Load it up. Loading it manually. Let's grab a few more, shall we? Make it quicker. Last two. Okay. Make sure that's locked up. Perfect. Now it won't fire. Let's put it in the new case that I've got. It's got three compartments on the inside. I'm just going to put it in quickly on one of them. Put the speed loader in as well. I'm going to take 0.25 with me. So, take a few of these with me. So, the first test I'm going to do is with 0.2s, and then the second time around will be with 2.5s. Okay, let's go and test this out. Here we go. Single action. One hit, just below the helmet, number three, shot right off to the right, okay, double action now, number four, just clipped the helmet at the bottom there, number five, oh, just missed out on the helmet to the right there, number six, drop short. Okay, time to get the 2.5s out. Just to the right of the tree. 
number two. Just below the helmet, number three. Just missed out on the helmet. Right, last three double action, number four. Shot off to the right. Uh, just over the top, that was number five. Last one, number six. And just below, interesting. My second day shooting this python, I am going to be using 2.5s. So the first time will be single action, the second time will be double action. Just below the helmet. Just to the right of the helmet. Number three. Hit. Number four. Just below. Just above. Number six, last one. <sighs> well, at least I did better than yesterday, slightly. Okay, I'm gonna load up again and go for the second time, double action. Far to the right, two. To the right again. Hit. Hit. Way low. Last one. Just missing out. Interesting results again. We'll try again tomorrow. Okay, this is day three. Same as before. Six single shot and then six double action. Here we go. Safety off. Just lower the helmet. Just to the right of the helmet. Below again. Hit. Below the helmet again. Number six. <sighs> Try again. Okay, double action now. Just above the helmet. Hit. Just below. Hit. Way, way up in the sky. Above the helmet. Yep, and I'm out. Interesting results. A4, same as before. Last time. Here we go. Single action first. Just lower the helmet. Hit. Just missed to the right. Four, way above the helmet. Five, hit. Number six, come on. Ah, just to the right. Double action, last time. Just below. Just below again. Way to the left. Hit. Way, way low. Way to the right. And that's it, I'm empty. Interesting results, but I've got one more thing to test out just for a little bit of fun. Taking away the helmet, as you can see here. Again, hitting a helmet is pretty hard. And with this particular model, it's not an easy challenge, but it was worth it for the test. So just for a little bit of fun, I'm going to try and shoot at this box. And I hopefully, fingers crossed, should get six out of six. So here we go. Right. Well, that was interesting. Only one confirmed hit there. So I'm going to load up again quickly as I can. Now, also I'm doing this for another reason, to see how long the gas lasts for. Okay, so the first test wasn't exactly the best. I did rush it a bit, so I'm gonna take my time on this one. Here we go, this is the second time. Right to the chair. Hit. Hit. Right to the chair again. Hit. Hit. Okay, so I just checked the box. It turns out actually I got five out of six, so that's not bad at all. So this is my third time going for the box. Hit. Way to the right. Hit. Way, way low. Hit. Hit. Okay, so I got four out of six that time. This is going to be my fourth attempt. Here we 
Here we go. Way to the right. Hit. Hit. Drop the chair. Hit just. Okay, this is going to be my fifth go, my last go, sadly, because my phone is dying. So let's see what I get. Way low. Hit. Way to the right. Hit. 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 Interesting results. Let's take this back inside. Back inside now, so it's time to give my final review on this product. So, look at the picture whilst I get this out of the case. There we go. So, what do I think of the King Arms Python? It's interesting. Um, this is my first revolver. I haven't fired a CO2 one, so this is the only green gas one I've got. What do I think? Hmm. Okay. There were a few technical issues that I had to get sorted out before I could even fire this thing. Thankfully, it was easy enough. Um, if you have a gas leak problem, I highly recommend you go onto YouTube, check out from the own company, King Arms. They have a particular video on this problem. Even I managed to sort it out, and that's saying a lot for my technical skills. Um, what can I say? Um, I made sure when I took this off, this is not wood by the way, this is a polymer, plastic of some description, um, everything else is full metal. When you sort this out, this issue, bear in mind, um, I haven't tampered with it since I fixed it, and yes, I do hear a bit of gas coming out, but that's natural anyway for mags or um, any gas blowback. Uh, what else is there? I stretched out the uh, spring a few times. I didn't bother warming it up like it says on the other video. And yeah, it's been fine so far, but if there are any more problems, I'll look into that. Um, what else for the six inch version Python? Um, the barrel was an interesting one. If you look carefully, I'm trying to get it into focus. There's quite, a, there's a small gap, so it's not gonna make that much difference, but I was expecting it to come out a little bit further. That was interesting. Also, just let me grab my screwdriver. Now, there was another thing when I got this first out of the box. This was loose, and I was thinking, well, that's pretty poor, why is that? So I tightened it up here, if you can see. And what I found out was, when I properly secured it, it was firing enough rounds on single, single action, sorry, and double action, which was great, but then suddenly it started getting stiffer and jamming a lot more, so I had to keep twisting this around to release it. But once I loosened this again from here, so it is, I'll try and get it into focus, so there's a little bit of wobble. But yeah, it works fine. Obviously I don't know if that's a main manufacturing problem or just the way it's designed. Obviously it's green gas. I don't know anything about the CO2 versions. Um, this is also a fixed hop-up unit, so that's why a lot of the BBs were shooting off in different directions, so bear that in mind. This is not the most accurate model. So, let's see. Um, reliability? I can't really comment on it, apart from what you've seen, but I would like to take this into my local site and try it out for the day, so this would be a, another fun challenge to go with my machete. If you haven't seen my airsoft challenges, check it out. So I'm going to get the shells out. Notice it's a lot easier to get out now. Oh, let's do it that way. So, notice, locked in place again. 
make sure I can get that in. Right, so what do I think? The shells, Fire One BB, which I mentioned before, I've had no problems putting them in, hearing the little click, so you know when it's secure. And very important, if you do get one of these, get the King Arm shells, because I've heard on other videos that people have tried with other makes and they didn't work. So King Arm shells, very important. I'd recommend if you do get one of these as well, I'm going to consider it, obviously, money as well. Buy a few speed loaders, buy some extra shells, and I'd say this is not the most skirmishable model that you can get, but for the fun factor and cool factor, yeah, I can highly recommend it. Again, time will tell if this is a good price for what I paid for or just a complete flop. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The end of the Python. So, yeah. What do you guys think? I'll leave it at that. So yeah, that was the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I've got my two new items here, which I can't wait to test out in the field when it is safe. Which one do you like more? Put that down in the comments below. Let me give you a quick Walking Dead Rick Grimes style. Why aren't you calling your hit? Do I have to come and get you? But no, um, it was just a little bit of fun again. I'm gonna take these off. So um, lastly, uh, yeah, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to click the little bell icon. And yeah, I look forward to making the next episode. The most important thing you can do is stay safe.